picture. What's one stereotype you've heard about fraternities at USC? Hazing. They party a lot and haze their pledges. Unsafe. They are unsafe. They drink a lot. You need to be in one if you're a guy and want to party. All they do is party. Hard partiers can be rude slash mean. They're all super douchey and rude. They are cool to be in. They think that they're better than everyone else. They are loud. Self-centered. Guys only care about superficial things such as drinking and getting girls. And most of the frats have crappy people. Can be unsafe to be around as a woman. I think that in any organization, no matter how big or small, there's going to be a percentage that are not doing the right things. I think that fraternities are grouped into that because the news you see are a lot of the negatives and not the positives. However, I do think being in one and being the leader of one, that there are a lot of positive things that don't really see the light of day because we're, we're always hearing the 1% of the negative. I mean, we do like to have fun. We are in a fraternity and sometimes we do party. Um, but in our fraternity, we do have exact positions set up so that we can make sure that all of our events and all of our responsibilities are handled in a responsible and appropriate way. Being an exec member of a fraternity here at the University of South Carolina, it's kind of disheartening to read some of those comments um, and think about how fraternities are viewed not only on this campus, but on a national level. I think that if people would take the time to get to know more about fraternities and more about the people inside each and every one of them, they'd realize that not all fraternities are the same and that not all fraternities meet that exact stereotype that many people have built in their minds uh, throughout history. In fraternity life, we really do care about our GPAs and have programs set up to help brothers improve their GPAs. And we also are big advocates for brotherhood. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand what brotherhood means or what it is. But in our fraternity, we really just find that it's being close with your brothers and making sure everybody is holding up their end of the bargain. Hi, my name is Jack Foster. Carson Pickert. Reed Head. Mark Smith. I am double majoring in supply chain operations and entrepreneurship, and I am minoring in retail. I'm a sport and entertainment management major. I am a marketing and supply chain major. I'm studying international business and finance with a minor in Spanish. I am in Beta Theta Pi. I am the social chair of the Beta Theta Pi fraternity. And I am in Beta Theta Pi. And I am the president of the Upsilon chapter of Beta Theta Pi. Being a fraternity at the University of South Carolina, one of the biggest kind of staples um, is our fraternity lots. Those are events that we have during tailgates every Saturday or before any home game that we have. And it's often talked about among many other schools and about how good our tailgating often is and how well it's run through the school. So it's kind of just an opportunity for us as a fraternity to put ourselves out there to the rest of the school, put ourselves out to there to the rest of the student population and like show off kind of how we like to tailgate. And we bring in all our speakers, we have our own tent, we get to put our letters up and just kind of um, have fun while also staying safe and in a, a safe environment. I think it's no mystery that fraternities do have a lot of social events and a lot of, a lot of parties, um, but I think there's a lot of philanthropy and a lot of community service that goes on. We're, we're a group of 150, there's 25 of us on campus, like we're a, a large population. Like this past year we did Final Victory, we raised almost $3,000 for the animal shelter. Uh, this year we had the Hayden Hurst Foundation, we raised almost $3,000 for mental health and, and men's suicide awareness. And I think that a lot of uh, charities and philanthropy companies kind of stay away from fraternities because of our reputation, but I think that's also positive because it gives us the opportunity to, to be a part of different organizations yearly, as well as local stuff like Dance Marathon and, and uh, Relay for Life, where we have brothers that are very involved in that. But I think the, the diversity of our philanthropy is really positive because it, it implements in a lot of different ways rather than just one big event per year.
One thing that really brought us all together was living in the house on campus. Um, there was a total of 42 of us living all in the house and seeing each other every day. Um, it was a great experience to kind of build that brotherhood that fraternities are all about and um, getting to know some people that we don't really hang out with every day. And so living with each other and seeing them every day and eating lunch and dinner with them um, kind of built that uh, friendship that might you wouldn't really get on campus just kind of walking around in classes and just walking around campus in general. My favorite part about being in my fraternity is just honestly getting to spend time with the boys, getting to take all these fun trips with all my friends, uh, and really just the brotherhood that exists within our fraternity. It's, it's a really tight-knit group of guys.